Good afternoon, I'm Dave Llewellyn, and for Carolyn, it's great to be with you on this Wednesday. We begin with the latest developments out of Highland Park, where police are investigating a fatal workplace shooting. Shots rang out this morning outside the Faricia Auto Parts plant on Oakland Avenue, just south of the Davison Freeway in Highland Park. Investigators telling us one man was killed when a co-worker opened fire in the parking lot following an altercation inside the plant just moments before. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid live in Highland Park for us with how the deadly dispute unfolded and who police have in custody now. Faraz, what's the latest? So Dave, I'm standing right outside the Ferusia plant in Highland Park and this is the parking lot where the Fatal shooting occurred earlier today, leaving one dead. Now, I spoke to some of the workers and the Highland Park deputy police chief to piece this all together. So right here at this section of the building is where things first went down. At about 8.50 a.m., police say a 29-year-old man was jumped by five of his co-workers. The fight was over the use of tools. The company's security team responded and broke up the fight. The six men were escorted outside and asked to go home. Meanwhile, an ambulance was called for the 29-year-old male. After treatment, the 29-year-old went back to his car and drove towards this car, where one of his alleged attackers, a 40-year-old man, was sitting with his girlfriend. The suspect first opened fire from his car, then got out of his vehicle and sprayed more bullets. Since the police were already on the scene, the suspect was subdued by Highland Park Police Department and Forisia security team. A police scout car transported the victim to the hospital where he succumbed to his injuries, while the girlfriend was not injured. Our security and everything is good, you know what I'm saying? They walk yeah. through the whole plant and they're armed as well. Like, that's why I said the incident occurred outside because they know that security walking through, you know what I'm saying, the whole plant. They don't just be, you know, out here in the booth and everything. They walk through the whole facility and make sure everybody good, come to different stations and, st and things like that. So, yeah, I don't feel for my safety or anything like that. I would still be there now, you know what I'm saying? I'm a maintenance technician. I would still be in there working now, but my boss told me I can go ahead and go home. And that was one of the plant supervisors, Jamal Woodfield. And just like him, other workers over here, too, were given the option to leave work early due to the incident. Coming up at 5, you'll hear more from a deputy police chief on the incident. I'm reporting from Highland Park. I'm Faraz Javid, 7 Action News. Back Faraz, Faraz, thank you for the update and the live report. See you at 5.